Hi everyone, it's Paul from This Design That. We've finally arrived in Bangkok and I've fortunately enough come down with a little bit of a cold. So that kind of sucks, but we're gonna be heading out probably tomorrow or the day after and start doing some photography in the city. Fortunately enough, I was able to get my scans back when I was in Singapore. I got this done at Triple D. I'm sure if you can see them there. So I've got the guys at Triple D to do this for me. And it costs 15 Singapore dollars, which is about eight pounds in the UK, which isn't too bad for a developing and scanning as well. So they put it on a CD for me and they're also kind enough to copy it over to my memory stick because I don't have a CD drive on my laptop. So we've got the scans back. Let's take a look on the laptop and let's see what they look like. Okay, let's take a look at the unedited files that I've got here. So these are just uh, the raw JPEGs that I've got uh, off the CD. I haven't actually done anything to them. Uh, you can see that the, you know, they're, they're not probably the most high resolution scans. You've got the dimensions here. On the, on the long side, it's only 3,200 pixels. So it's not the biggest scan, but straight away, I mean, you can kind of see that it looks like there is some sort of color cast here on the left side of the image. Contrast is a bit, is a bit bad as well. So that's, it doesn't really look too good. So this one looks a little bit better. Uh, I'm pretty sure if we're just going to develop. I'm pretty sure if we uh, boost this up a bit, yeah, you can kind of bring out, bring out the shadows. Just tweak this a little bit. So it doesn't look too bad. Um, there is, there is a fair bit, a bit of noise in it. But I mean, you know, it looks okay with what's in focus here. So these don't, these don't look too bad either actually. Obviously they're a bit underexposed. But you can easily, you can easily fix that. Now say so I've, I've just noticed else this. So I'm guessing this is probably a scan error here. This is probably not with the actual film, but this one doesn't look too bad. Uh, yeah, can't really see too many problems with that. Colours look okay. This one, I think I managed to get him in focus a little bit better, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a really nice sharp lens. This, uh, the, the, the 110 2.8 that I was shooting with is really, really nice. You can just bring it out a little bit more. So, you know, the details are okay. The colours look okay, and this one, yeah, so the, it looks like that was just a problem with the scanning, maybe. This one as well, let's have a look at this one. Let's try and brighten this up a bit. I'm pretty sure that was white, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Uh, but again, looks okay, nice and sharp. Now this one looks a little bit, a little bit off to me. Uh, I'm not sure if it's maybe the contrast. I'm not sure what it is, but it just doesn't look it just looks like it's kind of got like a wash over it, which is one of the signs of, you know, of, of the radiation uh, affecting the film. This one's of me. The colors look a little bit off. And again, it's, it's quite noisy. And we've got some, I'm not sure if this is maybe just from, from the scan, perhaps. Here's another one. So this looks, I mean, this looks really nice. This is my girlfriend. So everything looks okay up here. Just got some residue from the developing. This one as well, I really like the uh, the train stations in, in Bangkok. They've really got kind of like a futuristic vibe to them. And this one looks okay again. I don't, I don't have too many problems with the colors. Yeah, it looks all right. And then this is just another shot of the, of the, uh, of the walkway. Again, you know, the colors are not too bad. So overall, I've got kind of a, a mixed bag. It looks like the majority of the scans are actually okay. Now, bear in mind, this film has actually been through two or three scans uh, at the airport. It's had, yeah, it's had two to three doses of radiation and it looks like it's holding up okay. I think there are just kind of like a few signs that the radiation has, has affected the film. 
This image definitely. I think the colours are a bit off on this one, I and mean, we've got that kind of fogging on the on the right side of the film. But that could be maybe the scan. I'm not sure what they used. This one, it's kind of it's got like a wash over it. It's just like really low contrast, which again could be a cyan. But I mean, some of them come out really nice. I really like this one. It picked up the light really nicely. That was kind of falling on on my girlfriend. This one looks okay as well. Yeah, these ones are okay. Obviously, I just need to tweak them a little bit, but they look okay to me. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Out of 10 shots, two to three are not too good. So I guess that's, uh, I can, I can live with that definitely. So that was the first roll that we've got scanned. I'm undecided as to whether the film is actually fogged or not. It looks like some are a little bit fogged, but others come out okay. So this is my first time kind of dealing with fogged film. If anyone's got experience and having dealt with it before, let me know. I guess the question that I have is, can some images on the roll of film be okay and some of them be fogged? I would have thought that the radiation would have just kind of affected the whole entire roll. And with the roll that I've just got scanned some of them are good some of them are not so good so that's kind of a little bit confusing we're going to be heading out when i feel a little bit better in a few days we're going to be heading out and we're going to get a few more roles scanned and developed so hopefully we'll be able to see in more detail as to whether this radiation has actually affected the film that film that i just showed you that has had either two or three doses of radiation it looks like it's held up okay but put it in the comments and let me know what you think that is it for now peace out